Cycle three, week one, day three. Wendler 531. Boring but big beefcake. Bench press. What is up, my favorite people? Back again with another workout, just warming up. This is 155 pounds. Now we're up to 205. Here's 235. Here's the last set for the main sets, 265 pounds. I had a choice to do five, do an AMRAP, or do some jokers. Just wanted to do five today. So here's some pins press, strict press. This is 201.5. Gotta do three reps, three sets, as heavy as possible with good form. These were a bit rough today. I uh, did not do very good on these. Here's 222 pounds for a double. I'm supposed to get threes today, and I don't know, I just, the last time I tried it, it was like, I got 234 for three, and uh, here's 212.5 for two, and today I only did 222 for a dub, so I don't know, I was not feeling these today. So here's some jam press, 225 pounds for three. Same thing, three reps, three sets, as heavy as I can with good form. Set number two, 247 pounds. Third and final set, this is 269 pounds. This is the same number I hit the last time I did a three by three. So I'm happy with this. What is BBBB? -B -B? It stands for boring but big beefcake. You have 20 minutes or less to get it done. 10 reps, five sets, performed at first set last weights. So it sounds easy on paper, but once you start doing it, it can get kind of hard depending on what your training max is set up. For a set to count, it has to be 10 reps. Can't get eight or nine, has to be 10. And that will count as one set. So you choose your own rest. The only important thing is that you get 10 reps, five sets done in 20 minutes with your first set last weights. This is 86 pounds for me. It's uh, week one, so pretty easy. Uh, next week is my heavy week, which I have one, two. I've got two more workouts and then it's on to my heavy week. Overall, the workout went Pretty okay today. The bench press worked up to 265 for five. I had uh, 90 seconds rest in between every set there. Uh, the 265 for five felt harder than it really should have. This The reps looked nice and speedy, so that was good to see on the camera when I was looking back at everything. Uh, the next exercise, pins press. I had to do a three by three. I don't know. That went pretty rough. I was expecting a better uh, performance and I don't know it just did not go good but you'll get that some days the next thing was a uh, jam press three by three and I matched my old three rep um, top set from the last time I did a three by three so I'm pretty happy with that and this is the last thing I did the beefy strip curl it actually only took me seven and a half minutes total time including uh, rest and everything so these actually I was flying pretty good for these so there's two possible reasons, maybe three, why I didn't perform great today. It was either not enough rest days in between workouts. Usually I like to work out every third day, and I only had one day of rest in between uh, workout days this time. Or I'm work it's because I'm working out at a different time today, uh, much earlier than I'm used to. Still had a chance to eat, so it might not be that. I'm not really sure. Or I could just need a deload. So what I'm going to be doing is the seventh week training mass test, 70% uh, for five, 80, 90, all for five, 100% for three to five. So if you get three reps with 100% of your training max, it's about 90% training max. And if you get five reps, it's about 85% training max. And if you get four, it's like 87.5% training max. Hopefully this all makes sense. Uh, certain templates in this new book, he has you working with like an 85 or 90% training max. Overall, can't be too mad. I mean, 
bad workouts happen here and there. And today wasn't even that bad. Still got it done.